Welcome back to the Lost Digit. First, I want to apologize that I did not have my computer to edit because it completely fried. So all of this was edited on iMovie with my iPad Air. So the first thing I want to show um, after doing the scan of my car in the other video was household objects. So I want to see how small I could get with this high res mode and see if I could 3D print anything from the house. So first thing I tried to do was scan a bowl on the floor. And because of its size, it was very hard to actually capture the fine details, as you can see. So when we finish the scan, you can see that it's not high resolution enough to be of any use for us. So, so I figured because it's so small uh, and it's on the floor, maybe I need to raise it up. So what I did is I put it on top of another object and I tried to scan it and then maybe I could uh, crop it in 3D. So as you can see, I'm scanning it and things are not looking really good. I think it does better from a further distance with larger objects. So I didn't spend too much time with this and you can see what it looks like here just real quick. The next thing I wanted to do was scan a slightly larger object. So this one was about six to 10 inches and I went around it, but the issue here was that I didn't raise it up. So you really have to kind of get parallel with it um, at the floor height so that you can get the full 3D object because all I really scanned right now was the top half as you can see. So that's not anything useful to print. So what I did is I got the even larger pumpkin out and this one's about a foot and a half or so wide and I put it on top of the little bowl. So I was able to get low and measure fully 360 degrees around this thing. The tricky thing here is I did not give myself enough space between the wall and the object, so I had to kind of squeeze in and try to scan as much of it as I could with the small space that I had. So you can see it's, it's not capturing the ridges very well, but it captures the large kind of bumps and if you notice, my knee just pops in and it scans my knee. So it ends up adding my knee to the model. And I'll show you what I did there to crop it out just using my phone. So I went back around one more time, just made sure that it's all scanned. And then I stopped the scan. So after a few seconds of processing, we're here in the 3D viewer. Now you can see a piece of my knee is inside of it, but for the most part, it looks really good. So what we do is we actually go to the actions menu and go to edit and then crop with plane. Once you're cropping with the plane, you can actually switch to the Z and crop above or depending on where your uh, object is. So the red is what's going to go. And when you click crop, it just keeps what's not highlighted in red. So now I have my 3D object kind of ready to go and I can save it. If we take a look at the pumpkin, it looks pretty good um, and possibly even printable. So the next thing I did was, uh, out of curiosity, you can actually measure point to point. So I measure from one side to the other and it tells me that it's 37 centimeters. So that was really cool that it knows uh, from being spatially aware kind of what the distance is. So I can do share STL and then I airdropped it to my Mac while it was still alive. Then I copied the STL to Ultimate Kurkura, and then I exported the G code after slicing it. I had a video for that, but that's all gone now since my computer has crashed. The print took around an hour to an hour and a half, and I also did a time lapse, but I don't have that on my iPad either, so I can't show you the time lapse with the GoPro, but at least I have a few videos that I took with my phone to show the process. So you can see the pumpkin now is done and for the most part it looks like the full-size pumpkin but it's missing some of the detail as expected. It's definitely something cool I would try again with large objects. I would not try this with small objects unless maybe some better apps come out in the future. But that's that and I encourage you to try it. Thanks for watching.